What's good, y'all? Welcome to an episode of Buzz Boys. And it's true. It's official. It's devastating. It's the end of an era for the Carolina Panthers. Um, Christian McCaffrey has been traded to the 49ers. Um, it's crazy, you know. It's crazy. MVP type caliber player when healthy. Um, this definitely shows that we're in rebuild mode. Um, I'm, I, I want to see, is this going to be a rebuild or a retool? Like, I don't want to see us tear this shit all the way down. Um, but this definitely marks like a certain stage. Like, all right, it's about that. It's about that time. Um, now, I did make this video last night on my fucking phone, and it just, I couldn't upload it. I couldn't, it just, it just was giving me fit. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna make a whole another video. Um, but yeah, Adam Scheffner has confirmed 2023 second round pick, 2023 third round pick, 2023 fourth round pick, 2024 fifth round pick. Um, but when you look at next year draft, it's like now we have a full draft class. So we have we were missing picks, and I mean to get a second, third, fourth, next year's fifth, that's almost a whole little draft class. Um, and I mean there is gonna be good free agents, running backs hitting the market. Um, you don't want to just go out and waste money, but. There is a good class um, coming out that we can kind of, you know, hate to say it, but replace Christian McCaffrey. Like, we can get somebody like Kareem Hunt or some shit for a few million dollars. You know, eh. you know it's, people, it's people that we can grab. And plus, it's a good running back class. It's stuff that we can do to to kind of plug the hole. And I mean, you you get you already know we're gonna probably have the number one pick in the draft. Then you look at it, you get a second pick, third, fourth. We need that. Um now I don't want to see us really go too much further than this. We have a good defense. Now, Shaq Thompson, his contract is kind of expensive. Expensive. I wouldn't be surprised if we do trade him. But we don't need to trade anybody else. We have a good young defensive core. We don't need to get rid of Brian Burns, Jeremy Chin, J.C. Horn. We don't need to touch anything else. Okay, Christian McCaffrey. Um, and when you look at it, the trade isn't, it's not that bad. It's actually kind of good um, aside from the dead cap. $18 million dead cap hit in 2023, um, which fucking sucks. Like, bro, I thought y'all was finna take, I thought the 49ers were finna take that. Um, but we're taking on more dead money, which fucking sucks. You don't really want to take on dead money, but fuck it, David Tepper's rich. He'll pay that shit. But, um, you know, for the 49ers, you look at it, they're trading for a 26, 27-year-old running back who's injury-prone. They already have Debo Samuel. They already have. So, for the 49ers, it's kind of like they kind of did give up a lot when they already have Debo Samuel. They already have, you know, I guess Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't really sling the ball down the field. So, I guess they're just like, fuck it. We're just going to be checked down city. But when you got Debo and Chris McCaffrey to worry about, that, that, that is crazy. But... For us, you look at it, okay, he's been injury prone and knock on wood, you know, you don't want to see anything happen. But let's say Christian McCaffrey gets hurt and the sometime this year. You know, like or next year, or within the next three years, he has three years left on his deal. So it's just like to get a second, third, or fourth, and a fifth the next year for an injury prone running back. I mean Yes, I do believe that Christian McCaffrey is a one of a kind running back, but running back, as we know, is the most expendable position in the NFL. Okay, we've seen guys be at the top of the league as a running back, and then they're they're out of the league within two, three, four years, 
or, you know, their role is greatly diminished. I mean, look at Le'Veon Bell, arguably best running back in NFL. Two, three years later, he's out the league. Um, let's see, who else? Uh, Melvin Gordon. I mean, he he's not out the league, but he was just throwing attention about how he got benched not too long ago. That was literally last week. Um, somebody like Todd Gurley, on top of the league, one of the best running backs. Where is he at right now? So it's like three years from now, two, three years from now, this trade might look great. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't want to wish anything bad on Christian McCaffrey. I hope Christian McCaffrey is great. But, I mean, you got to look at it. It's his, it's his business. And, I mean, it's like we already fucking suck. Now, the way that I was looking at it is we're going to get the number one pick anyway. All you need is a quarterback. That's all this team needs. We have a, a pretty good O-line now. Our defense is good. We have wide receivers. Dude, you just need a fucking quarterback. But, damn, bro. I got to just Google that shit. Todd Gurley is literally retired, bro. That shit crazy. He's 28, and he's retired. Now, Todd Gurley isn't Christian McCaffrey, but, damn. That's crazy, bro. You know, Todd Gurley is retired, bro. That's crazy. That is actually crazy to see that. But, anyway, back to what I was saying. I forgot what the fuck I was saying. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I felt like all we needed was a quarterback. I felt like we didn't really even have to get rid of Christian McCaffrey. Now, I think we were probably scared of him getting injured. And it was like get something get something for him now while you still can before you can't. I feel like it was more along those lines. But in my eyes, I'm like, when you bring in a new coaching staff, when you bring in a new quarterback, which we're gonna do in the next year, and Steve Wilkes might do a good job and we might extend him and, and keep him permanently, but most likely we're probably gonna bring in another coach and definitely drafting a quarterback. So it's like what's gonna help? a rookie QB and a new coach, somebody like Christian McCaffrey, it, it, it makes things simpler. It makes things easier. Um, But I guess, you know, the front office looked at it as, fuck it, we need more draft capital because we have given away our draft capital chasing quarterbacks. This is why we're in this mess to fucking begin with cause because we've been giving away draft capital, giving away fucking money. Now we got dead money. No quarterback, no draft assets. Had to give away Christian McCaffrey just to get back what we already had in draft assets. And, you know, Scott Fitter was talking earlier today, basically saying the more draft picks you have, the more likely you are to hit on a good player. And, you know, he's right. But, damn. I mean... In my eyes, all we need is a quarterback, and it's like, is the running back that we draft going to be better than Christian McCaffrey? Probably not. If we trade DJ Moore, is the wide receiver you draft going to be better than DJ Moore? Probably not. You get rid of Brian Burns, is the next person you draft going to be better than Brian Burns? Probably not. Like, you know, like, we have good young players, and it's just like, I don't want to see us get rid of them to chase draft picks that are probably not going to be better than them, those guys to begin with. You know, you have to leave something. You have to leave some type of nucleus, some type of core for a new quarterback and coaching staff to inherit to have any type of success next year or the year after that. Like, there has to be something to build upon. So I don't want us to tear this shit down more than it already is. That's just my opinion. Um, you know... You guys comment how you feel about it. Um, I know it might have come as a shocker to you, to some people. I had people sending me stuff on Instagram like, yo, what the fuck? What's going on? You know, I kind of knew that this was possibly coming. Um, I knew this was possibly coming. So I've been kind of ready. Um, just because once I saw that literally 
on Monday after the game, it said that we had already turned down two or three offers. I knew like, okay, it's, it's serious because people are really sending offers like trying to get this shit done. They want Christian McCaffrey bad. So I knew that some team was going to get him and I'm sure it was going to be a contender. Um, Yeah, it, it you know, it hurts, especially if you have a tie to a player. Um, You know, I saw some people commenting, I'm not a fan of this team anymore. Duh, duh, duh. You lost me as a fan. And like, I understand it hurts. Like when you have a connection to a player it's difficult to watch them leave, especially in a trade, you know, like the organization is giving up on them. Um, you go to a Panthers game, you're going to see 22 jerseys. On a Sunday, I'm in Raleigh, but like on a Sunday, if you see Panthers gear, it's most likely a McCaffrey jersey. You might, you might see DJ Moore, but really, you see plenty of Cam Newtons, Luke Keekleys, and Christian McCaffrey still to this day. That's what you see walking around. When you see Panthers gear, it's either going to be Cam Newton, Luke Keekley, or Christian McCaffrey. Maybe a DJ Moore. So now it's like, who is that guy that's even going to get jersey sales? Like, man, Christian McCaffrey was a household name for this team. And it sucks to watch him leave because now you take an offense that was already one of the worst of all time. And now it's just like, what the fuck is that shit going to be now? We might not get a first down the whole fucking game, bro. Like, it's going to be nasty. But, at the same time, the offense could possibly improve because without Christian McCaffrey, it does force you to have a more balanced offense. You have to throw the ball now. You can't just dump down to Christian McCaffrey for the whole fucking game and run screens. Now you actually have to play traditional football. So, I don't know. We'll see. But... It definitely does hurt. You know, comment down below how you feel. Um, are you disappointed? Are you surprised? Um, do you feel like the trade was good? Do you feel like we got fleeced? Do you feel like we fleeced them? You know, I've seen people on both sides. I'm seeing people, some people saying we got fleeced because we didn't get a first. And for me, I feel like the trade is pretty good because a second, third, fourth, if you pick them right, that's a core. You know, that that that's a core. But... It's just like Scott Fitter said it was going to take multiple firsts and he got no first. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Scott Fitter said he was going to get first round picks and didn't get first round picks. So that's where it looks bad because of what he said a few days prior and that didn't, you know, come true. Um, But me personally, I mean, it sucks, but we already sucked and it's like there's no point in sucking and having a pricey injury prone running back when it's like you can get some value from him. and with Robbie Anderson it actually just came out yesterday that we that uh we were planning on releasing him and then the Cardinals called so it's like you know with that trade we got something as opposed to nothing um so I guess that's that's pretty fucking good um with Robbie I'm trying to find this fucking picture to show y'all because like it literally shows our draft capital and shit what we have going forward my wi-fi is tripping damn i didn't save that shit uh but we have the first pick second third fourth fifth i think we have like a full class now i think we have a full class now which is good because i mean we were pretty down bad as far as draft picks go so yeah uh we have 2023 number one pick most likely because we're probably not gonna win any more games uh 23 we have two 2023 second round picks a third round pick two fourth round picks and a fifth round pick so i mean this is what we have now going forward that that doesn't really help y'all but we're gonna have the number one pick Two second round picks, a third round pick, a two fourth round picks, and a fifth round pick this year. You can rebuild a team with that. But if we draft right, we can rebuild a team with that. So I mean, I don't really blame us. But the thing is, just like, let's say we didn't we didn't trade Christian McCaffrey, 
we still could have had a first round. We still would have had the number one pick either way. Um, one second round pick, one fourth round pick, one fifth round pick. That's still pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? Like, now we just have two second rounders, two fourth rounders, and a third rounder. I mean, two is better than one, don't get me wrong. That's definitely a nice, you know, draft to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven picks in the top five rounds for the next year's draft. That's good. Especially, like I said, for a new coach and quarterback to inherit, that's a nice, a nice, you know, class coming in. But at the same time, the coach and quarterback could have inherited Chris McCaffrey. Is what it is. I'm not too upset about the trade. You know, I know it's business and I know at least we're thinking long term because where we are right now is trash. But at the same time, all we need is a quarterback. You dr Like if you drop a good quarterback onto this roster, we're a 10 win team. And plus Matt Rule is gone. So getting rid of Matt Rule and getting a quarterback should equal 10 wins with this team. So I don't know, man. We'll see how far we really go to tear this down. I feel like we don't have to do too much, but at the same time, it's the Panthers. We're a joke, and I'm wearing this shit right now. This just to match my fucking fit, but yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get this video out last night. I tried. My phone just wouldn't cooperate with me, so I had to wait till I was at the shop today to fuck with the iPad, but anyways, appreciate y'all for watching. If you're new to the channel, this is a Hornets channel, Charlotte Hornets channel, but I do make Panthers content occasional unc basketball content i might just start making unc football content because drake may is a beast but that's neither here nor there i'm about to wrap this up catch you guys on the next one today is the hornets home opener so i'm definitely about to make another video right after this so if you're a hornets fan stay tuned to the channel because i got another one coming for y'all but until then peace